Hey, hey, it's Tim Cole and Char. Yes, doing it. It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Newcastle United career mode. This is episode, uh, I don't know, 26, if I'm not mistaken. Episode 26, if I'm not mistaken, that could be the one. Sexen 20, that is uh, German for 26 as well. Some people have been asking for episodes now. Hey, can you please do the thing in different languages again? sure if you want me to let me know in the comments down below what is episode 27 in your language boys um here we go and girls sorry we don't discriminate um newcastle united in the sixth position right now 49 points seven points behind the league leaders liverpool and we have been struggling lately with a few of the results and you could just tell that our opponents have improved against us but then we turned up in the last episode against Manchester City in a massive, massive way. We have gotten a draw against Liverpool. And then after that, we just smashed City to pieces. First time we played against them, 4-3. Second time we played against them, 6-3. So overall, extremely happy with the performance of the team. We just need to do better in the overall um, Premier League experience. We need to do better in order to secure the top six. That's very important. But the top four is actually close and we're getting closer and closer towards the end of the season. Obviously, we're in January still, so there's still a long way to go. But we need to keep in mind that we might be able to keep in touch with the top four for a long time. So if towards the end of the season we're anywhere near the top four, I would obviously do my absolute best to get there. So, yeah, let's see how it goes, guys, in today's episode. If you guys are enjoying the episodes, OK, if you're liking these, if you clicked on this video, you already know what you're getting, because like genuinely, if you have clicked on this video, you have clicked it because you know you enjoy my videos. So freaking hit that like button as well. Let's do the same. So technically over 20,000 likes on this episode. Sure, right? That's how it works. <laughs> Let's get into this one. January chance window is still open. We said we still have one more game in the January chance window. Ben Yedder is on 15 goals right now. He's nine goals behind Sergio Aguero. But in terms of fan objectives, take a look at this. Min Omar is on 16 out of 20. Big improvements on Ben Ratter, though. He is on 25 out of 30. He needs five more goal contributions to get his objective done. Like father, like son on one out of five still. The next Jani is on two out of 10. I'm really struggling with that one. And I'm genuinely thinking about bringing in another German slash Turkish player in this transfer window if I do get an offer. Uh, prolific fullbacks is on four out of 10. That is good. We have improved a little bit there. And all or nothing, obviously the top six, we are in the top six. Now, in terms of improvements for the players, we need to improve these players still. Mugasu, Shira, and Tavares are the ones that we're currently focusing on. And hopefully we can improve these young players as much as we can in this season to use them even more in the next season. But currently we have 2 million in the budget with 36K in the wage budget. And in terms of selling players, we don't really have much that we can let go. If I'm looking at this list right now, I just don't see anyone that I would let go. Even Coman, we've kind of enjoyed him right now. He's worth 34 mil. I don't know. Maybe we get a big offer on transfer deadline day. Right now, it doesn't seem like we're going to let anyone go. We have changed the formation to a 4-3-3. And we have been having a lot of fun with this one and a lot of success as well. So hopefully that success will continue in today's episode. The game against Brighton, though, will be simmed. So let me tell you that much. Here we go. Brighton at, at home should be, technically should be an easy dub. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Here it goes. Newcastle against Brighton. Can we get the dub against this team? Please make it happen. Mopai, the man that has ruined Genduzi's career, <laughs> has just scored against us. Um, not liking that at all. Come on, guys. Hey, wake up. There we go. Ben Yedder with his 26 goal contribution this season. Nice to see. Anyone else? Anyone else? Come on. It's 15 minutes to go. Get it done, guys. Mascarel, no way. Oh, Mopai got a red card and we still lost. That's crazy. We've lost against Brighton at home. This team is so terrible at simulations. It's crazy. So now it is time for transfer deadline day. Can we expect anything to happen here? I need to play more often. The amount of matches I get to play in the moment isn't good for my career. Uh, that's not nice to see. Calvin Phillips isn't too happy, guys. We have a scat report on Brozovic, who we're interested in. 82 rated, 17.5 million is uh, what he's worth. So 
we could potentially get Brozovic at some point. He's not too expensive. That is nice to see. But it is transfer deadline day. Chelsea have sold Jorginho to Bayern Munich for 80 million. Fabian to Bayern Munich for 71 million. Sula from Bayern to Liverpool for 55 million. Wow. Okay. Anything happening with us? Let's see. Nothing so far. A few hours have passed and it seems like Newcastle United players are not really wanted at the moment, which is a bit sad to see if you ask me. I was kind of hoping that we'd, we would get a, a decent offer here, but we didn't. Um, we have like four hours left. If we get an offer right now, that would have worked out with the time, but it doesn't seem like there's anything coming. There's a message coming in with three hours to go. And it is interest shown in Renato Sanchez, a loan deal from Montpellier. Oh, Renato Sanchez on loan. Can I get him on loan? Hold up. He's 78 rated. I mean, do I need him? Do I need him? Let me see the reserves team here. Longstaff and Phillips. Hmm. Hmm. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Very interesting to see that Renato Sanchez could go out on a loan. But after all this time that has passed... Oh, another message coming in? In the last hour? Wow, it's a transfer offer in the last hour. Are you actually kidding me? We have an offer for long stuff. I can't accept in the last hour, man. Because this transfer is not going to go through in this transfer window. Which means that, uh, if anything... He will be gone by the end of the season, which by then he'll be worth more because he's a young player that still has room to grow. So for me, this offer is unacceptable. So long stuff, not going anywhere. One of the oddest transfer deadline days you will see on this channel. Nothing has happened. Normally we have always something happening, but this time around it doesn't look like it. Um, we do have a lot of these youngsters still growing though, which is nice. Uh, Alan Shearer soon to get to the 72 rating. Mugaso to 73. Tavares has grown to a 74 due to us progressing into a new month. Um, in training injuries, Talas are injured three days. And these training injuries are so annoying, EA. Uh, Aiden Cook is still looking good in terms of potential. Andres Segura looking insane in terms of potential. Wow. Um, Vakili Lamte looking all right. But Segura definitely is the one that we have to take a look at and just, he has to come into the team. He just has to come into the team at some point. This guy looks like an insane, insane talent. So Segura will keep you in mind, but we'll keep you in the youth academy for now because I believe that is the place where he's going to get the most playing time. We do have uh, time to move on into February though. So this is the new month. And let's see if Newcastle United will be able to get top six after all. We're currently in a seventh position. Very disappointed with a loss against Brighton. We have uh, Sheffield United coming up. And what else do we have coming up? Arsenal. That's a game that I want to play. So Sheffield United right now. We're going to sim this and hope for the better. I, I genuinely would be upset if we lose back-to-back -back games. They've had mixed results. Win, loss and draw. And we immediately concede in the second minute. Any spar the equalizes. Come on. Please, please, guys, we can do better than this. I know we're better than this. I know we can win. Ben Yedder, come on. Nice. Move it. Move it forward, guys. Let's keep getting more goals. Let's get this dub, please. Three points. Three points is all I want. Ben Yedder. He's on 28. I think he's on 28 goal contributions already. My guy, Ben Yedder. Let's go. The rat himself has done it. Someone got injured, though. Amavi, seven days injury. That is okay. I can deal with that. Amavi being gone is okay because he's a bench player anyways. And uh, with that, we're cr coming closer to the top six again. The Arsenal game is a must win. We have to definitely get a dub against Arsenal in order to get back into the top six potentially. How many points are we away from the top four? We're only three points away. So anything is possible. Arsenal in the 11th position. Man, Arsenal is struggling. I've been thinking, guys. Uh, next year, potentially to start off with an Arsenal career mode rather than doing Liverpool, because I think there's a lot of work to be uh, put into the Arsenal uh, team. So I might do Arsenal at the beginning and then at some point later on in the year with FIFA 21, I might do Liverpool. Like I've genuinely been thinking about doing Arsenal. Let me know what you guys think about that one. Uh, because I always do Liverpool at the beginning. But Liverpool is insane. They won the Premier League. They won the Champions League. They won the World, World Club uh, Championship. They are 
the the reigning champions of every major trophy out there right now that they could have had. So I don't know, man. I I just feel like it would be kind of boring for people to watch me use a team that is already insane. And Arsenal, as we all know, is struggling big time. So I think doing like a rebuild with Arsenal at the beginning of FIFA 21 would be a very interesting prospect. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that one. Um, we will move on into the Arsenal game right now and see what we can achieve in this matchup. Loan offer for African English. You know what? We will accept that. West Ham United, you can have him and hopefully he will help him go up in his potential. That'd be very nice to see. Arsenal though, let's freaking do this. Let's do this, Arsenal. Let's have a good game. Thomas Partey in that CDM position, really happy with him. So Yunju Hermoso also have been good. Close to Mana Cunha. We just have an amazing defense right now. I feel like our, our offense is behind our defense in terms of ability. So uh, we will improve that as much as we can. Ben Yedodo, 18 goals. He is now eight goals, not eight goals. Uh, he's nine goals behind Sergio Aguero. So let's get it on with Arsenal and see what we can achieve against them. So Newcastle coming in with the man that is projected to score 32 goals. I mean, that's only five goals ahead of Sergio Aguero's tally right now. Ben Yedder is doing a great job, but potentially in this episode itself, we could be finishing off the Ben Yedder objective of him getting 30 goal contributions. If we only get two goal contributions in this match, we will have his objective done. So let's see if we can fulfill it. Ben Yedder against Arsenal. Arsenal currently struggling in the 11th position. Let's see how that goes. You know what I've been enjoying a lot is skilling. Skilling in FIFA 20, uh, even though it is quite hard to do because of the skill chain error, I've been really enjoying myself giving you guys some decent goals with the skills and everything. And I want to get even better. So uh, I hope you guys will have even better content moving forward in terms of the gameplay itself. Because uh, I think it is a very big part of like having good content is being able to give you guys different types of goals. Not the same ones all the time, you know? Oh no. Oh no. That's a goal, isn't it? Ramsdale! Let's go, Ramsdale! Well done, mate. Outstanding. Comes out, gets the ball, and saves us there. As Partey gets the ball back as well. And we move it forward into Bardi. Bardi now expecting the run of Almiron. Over the top is the only way to go. David Luiz. David Luiz uh, can't stop us, but it is a terrible pass. As Arsenal try and get back in once again. With good passing, it is Rashica and Sanson, the man that used to play for us. Here goes Medley. Medley brings it back. We do get it. Yes, we got it away from Sanson. And here we go on the counter. Almiron, once again, asking for his run. David Luiz won't be able to catch up to him. And even if he does, we can get past him like that. Almiron, David Luiz, doing David Luiz things. This man is a joke. <laughs> he gets a yellow card as well. David, what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? You are being extremely silly. This man needs to be helped. He should stop. He should retire. It is the most typical David Luiz thing to do. Ben Yedder is going to take this penalty, my friends. And we're going to take it into the bottom left corner. Let's go! Ben Yedder! Let's freaking go, lads! We have scored again! Newcastle United are finishing their, ch their chances. Chances? What the hell? Chances. Ben Yedder, bottom right corner. David Luiz... You messed up. You messed up, my friend. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. That is very unlucky for David Luiz and Arsenal. He should have gotten a red card, in my opinion. That was a quite harsh tackle. 19 goals in the Premier League. We are now eight goals behind Aguero. Can we catch up to Aguero? It would be an impossible task, but it would be huge. Because if we could, if we could get Ben Yedder to be the top scorer, as much as I like him, I think we can have even better strikers in the future. So we could possibly bring in Depay as a striker and then buy a winger while selling Ben Yedder. Because I don't think Ben Yedder is the youngest player in our team. That's for sure. And uh, there's a lot of things that I don't like about him. Despite him being so small, he moves very slow. But his finishing is world class. So he makes up for it. Rashica. Yes, we got it. Close the man. Down the right, there's some space. Beautiful ball into Almiron. It is Almiron against David Luiz again. Come on, David. Do it again. Good pass inside. Ben Yedder. Yes! Ben 
Game Header 2 0. Davi Luiz couldn't stop us again. Arsenal is getting taken down by Newcastle United. There is a reason why we are ahead of them in the league table. They are in the 11th spot. We are fighting for top six, potentially top four. And doing things like this obviously helps us. Got really lucky there with Almiron. I gotta be honest, got really, really lucky in that uh, cutting inside moment. But the shot is just class. Gets past two defenders. Ben Yedder now on 20 goals in the Premier League. And I believe with that, he has now completed the Ben Ratter objective, which is the first objective that we finished this season. And it took us long enough. January, no, it is February right now. We only have a few months left to complete the other five. Big forfeits will be coming in later on. There comes the cross now towards Klosterman. Klosterman stops it. Ramsdale saves it. I got to say, man, I'm extremely impressed with Ramsdale. I, I didn't like him at the beginning. You guys know he made a few mistakes. Obviously, his first chance. No. Oh, no. We got a big time injury for Klosterman. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, I'll play Amavi for now, but that might be a long term injury for Klosterman, guys. I don't like to see that at all. What happened? He fell down and then he, he stayed down. That's not good. Saw Maxima. Saw Maxima. This is what I like to see. Woo! Go on. Ah, oh, man, it would have been nice. It would have been so nice to score a goal like that. An ultimate difficulty. Doing things like that is just so satisfying because it's actually really hard to play on this difficulty. Here we go. Yeah, people in the middle. Ben Yedder. Ah, he should have done the turn on his left foot. That's not what I wanted. There goes the ball. Douglas Luiz. I wish he had four-star skills, man. I think, I think it would fit him really well. Partey, second half has begun. Ennis Bardi on the moves. Can I say one thing, guys? Can I be extremely honest with you? I brought in Ennis Bardi thinking that, we, that would, he would grow. I thought he would become the main man of this team. And don't get me wrong, he has done a lot of good things for us. But I'm slowly thinking about replacing Ennis Bardi. I gotta be honest, man. I know it sounds silly. I know it sounds extremely silly, but for some reason, he doesn't grow. Like, he doesn't get better. Normally, by now, any Spardi would have grown by at least plus two for me, but nothing has happened. Nothing. And it's it's sad to see. After this game, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna go into the menu and check out in the squad hub, but there might be an opportunity for us to sell any Spardi in the future and just cash in the 30-something million that we would get for him. Potentially 40, maybe even 50. But um, I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset to see that while the entire team is growing, he has been stuck. And it's, it's, it's not nice to see. I think he totally deserved to grow. But for some reason, he's stuck. And yeah, man, we need to, we need to make a decision. We need to. Look at this. Ennis Bardi takes the shot. He's angry. So Maxima, I'm waiting for your run. That's the run that I wanted. Go on, Sam Maxima. Let's go. Oh, man. I thought we had him. I thought we had that defender right there. Oh, Sanson just pushing Douglas Luiz off. It's the battle between the one who got replaced and the one who replaced him. Sanson still going through and he runs off the pitch. He was too scared of Douglas Luiz. He felt his presence. He knew that the man that replaced him was chasing him down. Here's Douglas Luiz now on the ball. Playing it across to Sa Maxima. A one-two. A pass in behind. Sa Maxima cuts in. Well, go on. Oh! Yes! Unbelievable! 17! That is his 17th goal contribution if he didn't get any assists so far. Sa Maxima! Did you see it? Did you see the skill? The cut inside, the ball roll, the flick, the volley. Yes, yes. This is what I like to see. This is football. This is Sa Maxima. Oh no, Soyunju completely missed the tackle. Hermoso. Wow. It could potentially be a clean sheet after all for us in this game. I mean, when I'm not trying to achieve clean sheets, I'm getting them, huh? That's how it works, I guess. Come on, Bardi. Come on, Bardi. Ah, man. I can't even get past David Luiz with him. He's so so much behind the power curve of our team right now. It's really annoying, man. I wish he would be better by now. It hurts. It hurts to see him like this. I'm struggling out here, man. I can't even get onto the ball. All of a sudden, Arsenal have complete control. But 
Who cares? It's 3-0. You could score one if you want to, Arsenal. And then things going to change. This is going to be a win for Newcastle United. As any spot, they get past one more player. And we go for maybe one more chance here. With the likes of Ben Yedder on the ball. Plays it back. Douglas Luiz. There's any Spardi. Any Spardi. Any Spardi. He can still do it. He can still do it. How many goals has he scored this season? I want to know the numbers. I want to know the numbers. Any Spardi gets it done. Nice to see his running behind. It's his 11th goal this season. Don't get me wrong, man. He's doing exceptional things. But... He's stuck at 80 and it's annoying me. I want him to be 85, 86 rated. I don't want him to be stuck at 80. It really hurts me to see. But it's a win. It's a three-point match for Newcastle United. Outstanding goals, including the one from Sam Maxima, obviously. Arsenal just once again shown up. They are not good. They are currently in a really, really bad moment. And they still have players like David Luiz. We're just going to hold them back all the time. So, unlucky Arsenal. You will have to wait for Saliba to finally come in and replace him. So, let's take a look at Bardi. So, here he is, guys. He has not grown this season. And that is extremely upsetting to see. He has gone up in his balance. He has gone up in his agility, his stamina, his attack position and composure. He's gone up in a lot of stats. But for some reason, he just isn't growing. And I don't know what it is, man. I really don't know what it is. He is such a good player and I want him to grow. And he, he is putting in the performances. Like, if you look at this, he has 12 goals and 7 assists this season. And I think that's great numbers. 25 games in the Premier League and um, 17 goal contributions. That is huge for a center attacking midfielder. And even a center midfielder right now. But for some reason, he just isn't growing. And I don't understand why. It's really upsetting me. I want him to be better. I really do. But if he doesn't grow, if he's stuck for some reason, if there's like a glitch going on in the background, we might have to let him go. I, I, it sounds horrible to say this, but we might have to let him go if he doesn't grow. I need, I need him to go up to at least an 81 or 82 this season. Can I train him? Can I train him up? I just want to see real quick. Let's take a Shearer out. Let's see if he is capable of being improved. He is, which is nice. I want his dribbling to improve. I want his sprint speed to improve. So I'm going to go with this now for any spot you guys, okay? So in order to not sell the legend himself, we're trying to save him by putting him into training sessions now. Liverpool and Manchester United on 60 points. Manchester City on 59. Chelsea 58. Wolves 57. Leicester 56 and we are on 55 so we're still three points behind the top four one point behind the top six it is a big race right now even Tottenham is getting involved right now so there's a bunch of teams fighting for top six and it's going to be a crazy race until the end of the season hopefully things will go well uh, Amavi is coming in with a message. We'll consider you playing more but he's getting subbed in anytime anyways uh, we have African English loaned out we have an eight-week injury for Klosterman. That's horrible. That's really bad. Oh, God. Klosterman is a big part of this team. I don't know what to do now. I guess I'll have to play Amavi. Amavi has the five-star weak foot, so Amavi will be playing as a right-back from now on as we bring back Longstaff into the team as a substitute or Salisu. We need a center-back in there. So Salisu is coming in onto the bench right now. It's sad to see him get injured like that, man. Klosterman was a big part of this team. He was very important for the defense. And as soon as I talk well about my defense, immediately someone gets injured. That's bad to see. So as mentioned, Ben Yedder, his objective is done. He has 31 goal contributions right now, which is nice to see. 26 goal contributions in 27 Premier League games. Amazing player. Saw Maxima now on 17 goal contributions. Good to see. But now that means we can focus on some of the other objectives, which are obviously the like father, like son objectives. So Ben Yedder can get subbed off a lot now for Shearer. He has the five-star weak foot and the skills as well, the same as Ben Yedder. Um, also, we can sub in Abdul Qadir Umur more to get more goal contributions with him to chase down the other objectives. So from this point on, Ben Yedder has already done his job, which is good to see. How old is he again? Is he like 28? Oh, wow, he's 30 already. Lads. We got to sell Ben Yedder in the next transfer window. It has to happen. Next transfer window, we're selling him. And you know what? I might put him onto the transfer list even right now. See how low he is in the list? 
I might put him in there. Actually, I can't. I can't put him in there yet. Yikes. Um, he has lost 13% of his value already. It's not looking good for Ben Yedder, boys. We need to bring in someone else next season with the budget that we have. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And also, a few of the loans are going to expire. As far as I remember, uh, Greenwood and Brahim Diaz were two-year loanees. So let's see what happens there. I don't. Uh, did I loan them in last year or did I loan them in this year? I'm kind of confused on that matter, but... Obviously, it would be nice to keep Greenwood. Brahim, I'm not too fussed with, but Greenwood is a good player. He's a really good player. But now, let's jump into the game against West Ham and see what kind of result we can get. By the way, some comments from the last episode. Sorry that it took this long to get them up. Um, here's one from Sinos. He says, Johnny says, I'm going to fly to Liverpool if they win the league. The world, not this year. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, man. I should have been there right now celebrating, but yeah, sadly, things didn't work out the way they are. I was assuming that towards May, I would have been there for the parade, but yeah, things haven't worked out. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully next year, when this whole situation has calmed down, Liverpool wins the title again, and I can fly over there and celebrate. Also, there's another comment coming in from Nakul. He says, Johnny, have you ever used that Nintendo Switch? <laughs> or is it just decoration? Yes, I have used it. I have used it. But right now, I am not using it because my wife's nephews, uh, they wanted my game, my Pokemon game. So I'm currently without a game. They have my game and I'm waiting to get it back. And then I can get back into catching them all, basically. Oh, oh yes, Ramsdale gets it straight away. Douglas Luiz puts in a tackle. Douglas Luiz can't actually get that away. They still have possession. West Ham still, ooh, what the hell was that? That was a weird one. I don't know what just happened there, but they should have taken a shot on target. Somehow that bottled. I see runs being made. Partey getting in behind for some reason. Let's try a long shot. Ah, man. I wish there need to be better shot techniques in this game. Like, every shot just keeps going higher and higher. I, I need to see that every shot that there is in real life. Most of the shots, they always come down. In FIFA, they all keep going up. They keep going up and up. It's so silly. They need to have a better system. I honestly think the shooting system on FIFA is um, quite inferior to Pez. Saying that, I just conceded. Sick. So EA heard me say that and they were like, oh, you think the shooting isn't good? Here you go. A nice finesse shot around your goalkeeper in the near post. All right. I see you, EA. I see you. I'll take on the challenge. Oh, that's a good cross again. Acuna this time gets it away. Almiron, please. Almiron can't get that. He's too small and too weak. Is West Ham still on the attack? I'm really struggling against this team right now. For some reason, West Ham have a formation that works really well against us. As we struggle to get onto the ball. Ramsdale makes a huge save. It's offside for Pablo Fornals anyways, but that shouldn't have happened. We should have done better there. Come on, Hermoso. Yes, Hermoso fights for it. Lovely. Ben Yedder. As people chase him down. Ben Yedder. The shot onto the crossbar. Man, unlucky. We could have scored the equalizer there. To come back in the 25th minute. Instead, we might concede, but we will not. Amavi coming in with a clutch chase down. Sal Maxima. Yes, I love that move so much. Sal Maxima stops. Still goes. Still goes. Gets taken out inside the penalty area. That is inside the penalty area. How is that not inside? Hold on. Hold on. First of all, I'm happy that Ennis Bardi gets a chance. But was that not inside? Ah. Uh, I'm not too sure, you know. Let me see. I guess not. I guess not. All right. Well, we'll take it. It's very close to the target. It's going to be a tough one to score. But we're going to try. Ah, oh, what a save. What a save. Any Spardi. I should have green timed it. I missed my green timing. Hit it on yellow. And the goalkeeper makes a huge save there. GG's. Goalkeeper doesn't have too many options down there. So he's going straight down the middle. Oh, that's a great ball. Wow. Morales. Morales loses it. Well done, defense. Partey now carrying it forward. Partey, not the most pacey player, but very powerful. Almiron. Almiron. 
Brings it back in, has some space, finds the run of Ennis Bardi. Ennis turns and twists, looks to find the near post. Can't do it. Douglas Luiz, Partey. He does have a decent shot, but Douglas Luiz gets it on his left foot. Let's go, Douglas Luiz. Yes, he might be my lowest rated midfielder, but he might still be my favorite, man. He might still be my favorite. What a player he is. Douglas Luiz scores another goal for Newcastle United. It's the equalizer. The equalizer coming in. Partey with the pass. Douglas with the shot. Amazing. Keep it up, son. That's what it is with first time shots, man. Even if you have bad weak foot, if you take first time shots like that, it can just sometimes fly in. We saw Douglas Luiz score on his weak foot for the second time now, actually. The first time it was a butchered shot. It somehow went in. This time it was powerful. That's what I like to see. All right, so is Ben Yedder tired already? If he is, ah, he's not tired yet. Not as much as I hoped he would. I'm going to bring on Abdul Kadir Ömür for Douglas Luiz. And then later on, we're going to sub in Shira for Ben Yedder. Actually, you know what? Let's do it now. Let's give him a full half. Shira coming in. Let's go after these objectives. Bardi, Ömür, Shira, and now Sam Maxima is open. Sam Maxima is open. Can he get past this man? He can. Plays it inside. Ömür would have been the perfect combination. Ömür assist, goal for Shira, and we work towards two objectives. Amir on some space down the wings. Has Shira in the middle of support. Shira getting shoved off. Shira has the ball still under control, though. His dribbling has improved, I can tell. That's nice to see, man. That was one of the key issues with Shira for me personally. I didn't really like his dribbling, but it does feel better by now. And he's only 71 rated, so who knows where he's going to get to. Man, I'm struggling. West Ham, another chance. 68 minutes have passed, and we're really struggling to find any more chances than the one that we had so far. And West Ham is just carrying the ball forward with passion, trying their best to get something going here. And they do somehow find the spots to pass it into multiple times. We just have to stop them in their tracks here. It seems like it's not as easy of a task as they just keep on passing it through. Keep on passing it through. Ramsdale through his legs, onto the post. Partey. It's 2-1. West Ham is about to beat us. I can't believe we just conceded that. That goal is ridiculous. I can't believe that just happened. Unreal, man. un freaking real Thomas Partey gets the ball. Almiron is on the run. Almiron is on the run. Almiron can do this. He has too many people chasing him down. Shira! Yes! Come on! Like father, like son. Will Shira has scored for Newcastle United. The equalizer against West Ham with about five minutes to go. Potentially turning this game around. This could be the beginning of the turnaround. Great goal. Almiron waits, waits, passes it across, and Shira gets lucky. It goes through the legs of the defender. It wasn't that much of a good shot. The goalkeeper, if he sees that ball earlier, he can save it. But luckily, he didn't. We get very, very lucky. That is his second goal this season. Six in-game minutes left. Can we do this? Can we turn it around completely? Oh, yes, we could. Oh, yes, we could. Here it goes. Sao Maxima. Yes! Come on! Let's go! Sao Maxima! Let's go, my man! 18th goal contribution this season for the Frenchman down the wings. A huge mistake in the build-up from West Ham. And we got the space and time to go with the near post shot. Sao Maxima! 11 goals in the Premier League. What a player. Let's go, man. Turn this game around. I can't believe we just actually did this. I genuinely cannot believe we did this, guys. Incredible. Two minutes of added time. West Ham is going to have the last chance here, I believe. That's a really good ball. They're running down the wing. Had more so. Had more so. Take your time, Johnny. Don't rush too forward. Let's go. That's it. Kick it away. Yes. Three points against West Ham. Despite, honestly, being the team that was way worse. Genuinely, West Ham was way better this game. But we showed once again what this team is about. It's about heart. It's about passion. It's about trying everything possible. 
and also young talents coming in and stepping up. Unreal. Shira scores, Sir Maxima scores, and West Ham have been beaten. After all, very happy with the team's performance right here, guys. Um, glad we turned that game around and glad we can still have... Oh, Newcastle back into the top six. Let's go. Yes. Nope. I mean, Chelsea has to play still, but we are on the same amount of points as Chelsea right now, which is huge. Ennis Barley still being trained up. Shearer being trained up. 93 sprint speed right now, which is something that it doesn't really need to improve, but it's fine. It's good to see. Um, any spot he definitely needs a pace boost. He's now on 70 sprint speed, which is good to see. He's soon, soon going to get to an 81, man. But the discussion has to continue. We have to look forward. We have to look for whatever we can do in the future. And uh, we have another youth squad monthly report right here. And again, it just shows that Segura is an outstanding talent. Um, good to see him still in our team. Uh, Armave is happy with the time he's getting due to Klosterman's injury. And Ennis has grown. He has grown to an 81, finally. Right when I start talking about him, he has gone up. Ramsdale gone up to an 81. Acuna gone down. Interesting. Acuna has gone down from an 82 to an 81, guys. So next season, Ben Yedder, Acuna both need to go. We need to let them, let them go and bring in replacements. Man, this team is constantly evolving. We need to improve in many, many positions next season as well. There's a lot to do, guys. We have a lot to do in the future. And also, I saw Douglas Luiz has gone up to a 79. Great to see that. And Phillips has gone up to a 79. Gibbs White has gone up to a 76. Shearer up to a 72. Good improvement. Very, very good improvement. Um, uh, Klosterman 83. I think he was 83 already. Mugasu at a 74 right now. Looking very good. We just need to improve his defending, man. I think he's going to go up very, very fast. But uh, overall, extremely excited to see the future of this squad, man. We're looking very good right now. Extremely pleased. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really enjoyed myself. Ben Yedder is the man of the episode so far. Or uh, no, I'll give it to Sam Maxima. Sam Maxima is the player of the episode. He has done an exceptional job with scoring that one goal that he did and also getting the third goal against West Ham. We have the month of March coming up, April and May, and then the season in the Premier League will be done. Can we achieve top six? Can we remain in that position? That is the question that we need to ask ourselves. Let's see. We are still in the top six, it seems. Chelsea hasn't played. Yeah, Chelsea still hasn't played. So top six it is. Barely. Barely. Many, many teams going for that spot. So let's see if we can make it happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care and peace.